What's up, everybody? Welcome to today's episode of The Comeback Podcast with your host, Mark Jennison, founder and creator of The Comeback Movement, the man that's going to change your life. Today's topic is, it's hard to beat somebody that just won't quit. Sit back, enjoy the show, and let's roll. So, it's kind of funny, actually. I was thinking about this this morning, and I wanted to do this topic because I, I was looking at a picture that actually spawned this like three or four days ago. I just haven't got around to doing this one because there was other things on my mind, but this picture of me working out, a picture of uh, a picture of me working out, and then we went back to my previous gym, and it was a, a mindset picture I had of this old dealership I used to work for, and it spawned all these thoughts inside of my head that made me realize, like, hey, man, you just don't quit. But at the same time, you're out here peddling to people that they should quit, right? So there's, like, two sides of this. It's the funniest thing because, to me, I look at it completely different. I don't I don't look at drinking or, or any of the struggles or any of the shit that I went through as that I need to quit. I believe that not doing something is a sign of weakness in itself. I believe that when I say I will never quit, I will never give up, and I just keep fucking trying and just keep coming back and coming back and coming back, it's not because I don't want something in my life. It's because I want more for my life. And I had to determine, just like you have to determine, what is that more that you want that you won't quit for? See, I think part of the problem is why, why men, let's just say they're in their later past 50, right? I, I talked to quite a few of those guys past 50. They don't want to, they don't really want to quit. They want control of their thoughts, emotions, actions, their drinking. But for some reason in their mind, their wives, their friends, their families, what they know, the stigma, the, the society's views on everything, the world views says that they have to completely remove something from their life. That's the only way. So they come to me and they keep failing and they keep failing and they keep failing because they've bought into some other belief pattern. It says, hey, this is the only way for you. Now, on the flip side, nobody knows you better than you, you know you. I know me better than no, anybody knows me. You know some. You know yourself, right? You get to determine, hey, you know if you can't fucking drink. It's straight up. You know it. So, so you got to be honest with yourself. Say, are you fucking lying to yourself? See, this struggle, this process, this thing that we go through day in and day out just in drinking, but you can put this in any area of your life. You can put it into your relationship. You can put it into parenting. You put it into business. It's very, very easy to put into business. To me, business and addiction run very, very similar, right? I Almost like the same mind frame, the same hard wire runs, that same thing, okay? I'm an all-in kind of guy. I am never going to quit. I'm never going to give up. I'm never going to let off the gas. There'll be times I want to. There'll be times that I kind of rest just a little bit because I can't figure it out. And then all of a sudden, I will fucking, like a rocket ship, just shoot out into the orbit with whole new ideas. But I'll never quit on myself. And neither should you. And the reason... That you're going back and forth or you're thinking, man, should I quit? Should I not quit? It's because you don't know what you really want. And I get that. I went through seven major relapses. Seven. I could probably had hundreds, right? Literally. Because relapse happens long before it actually happens inside of your mind. But I had little ones, you know, two, three days. I'm not drinking. I'm not, come Monday, I'm not drinking. I'm going to finish this 12-pack. I'm going to fucking do this bag of Coke. And then I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Well, that, those little things don't really count. I'm talking about seven major motherfucking relapses where I lost everything over and over and over and over. And it hurt, pain, like deep, deep ones. Each one of those, I learned a little bit more about myself. Now, here's the the kicker. They got worse and worse and worse. As I was learning, things were getting deeper and deeper and deeper. But I had to learn who I was and what I wanted. I had to learn where alcohol fucking fit in. I had to learn what the relationship that I'm ultimately in right now today that I was looking for years ago looks like. I had to look at this business that I'm building now and I had to go through the shit, but I had to never quit. Just like you. And I want you to determine today what you want. I don't give a fuck if you're 48, 28, 38, 68. You know you better than you. It's hard to beat somebody that just won't quit. I don't care what your wife says, as much as I know she's your queen. I don't care what your kids say, as much as I know they're your legacy. I don't care what your employees say, as much as I know they provide you dollars, value, and an internal desire and sensation that nobody really understands unless they're in the business. I care what you know. I care that you decide what's best for you. For some reason, men have become pussies. They can't even make up a fucking decision. Their wives want them to lead them. Their wives want to see that the the, the man, the strong, the controlled, the guy who can own his shit, the confidence. 
Yet at the same time, because they haven't seen that, they lose trust in you. And they start fucking looking at you different. And when they start looking at you differently, that fucks up your head. And it makes you want to quit. It makes you want to gain their thoughts. I understand. It's very, very easy to do. But you need to grab a hold of something right now. Reach down inside of you. And fucking make a choice. A choice to stand up and be who you are. A choice to never fucking quit no matter how hard it is. I get so sick of hearing guys, oh, I'm struggling, I'm struggling, I'm struggling. Fuck off. You can do it. We talked last week about emotional shits on people, right? I get it. Sometimes it's nice to get the stuff out. I mean, in the line of work, in the business I am, that's what I do. But I only want to work with people who can make a fucking choice. Who haven't given up on themselves. Who have this drive and desire. I don't care if you hate yourself, because I did. When the hate outweighs the drink, transformation can start. But you've got to promise yourself this. Don't promise me. Don't promise your wife. Don't promise your kids. Don't promise your business. Promise yourself this. I will never fucking quit. As bad as it gets, I will never fucking quit. Because I can guarantee on the other side of as bad, bad as it is, after making a choice, you can have it all. It's not going to come overnight. It's not going to come easy. But it will be fucking worth it. If you're at the point right now where you're ready to have it all, you're ready to put that drink down, you're ready to stand up and rise and be the man that you want to be, you know that you're never going to quit, but you've tried it all, but you just fucking lost, maybe feel a little bit lonely, it's time for you to come to me. It's time for you to come to my team. It's time for you to click this link or type in this link. I am a comeback.com forward slash apply. I am a comeback.com forward slash apply. As always, my team is here to help you. We're going to leave you better than we found you. It's time to take the courageous step. Click the link, fill it in, and we'll see you on the call. For those of you guys not ready, maybe tomorrow's your day. I'll come with another message. That's it for today's episode of the Comeback Podcast. Have an amazing day. We'll talk to you soon.